Hey, cows! Come on, cow cows! Come on! Come on, cows! Come on, cow cows! Come on! Innocent Go. disguise. Go on, come on. Hey, don't give me that. A guilty come on, cow sin. cows, come on. The smoke in your eyes and tells me where you've been. Let's go, cows, come on. You keep coming back from that burnt out old flame with a velcro halo and those snap on wings. Reverent intent, deceiving as hell. That smile always meant to hide where you fell. You keep changing acts. Now I know your game. Same old Velcro halo and the snap on wings. See, it's not always easy. I mean, some days the cows just don't want to move. They just don't want to cooperate. And they're animals. It's not like you can really talk to them too much. And it's just, I don't know, man. That took us 12 minutes. That took us 12 minutes. It's the longest that's taken to move cows in forever. And, you know, some of them just didn't want to leave that pasture for whatever reason. But, hey, just got to do what you got to do. So the cows will stay on this paddock here for probably just a couple hours. Just enough to take out, uh, you know, everything, especially down that way and behind the pond. And that's about as much grass as there is here. There's not, there's not much. We're, uh, we're getting on to running out of grass stage. We still have some, like, over here. This is what this paddock looks like. I still want to hop it because the wire's on. But uh, it looks okay. There's enough grass for, to support them for, you know, half a day. They take down uh, maybe some of the weeds for me. And uh, yeah, it just buys us another half day. Last year we got off of hay, it was March 1st. So we were like 118 days away from there. And yes, I'm counting down because I can't wait for spring to come back for us to get out of this. Uh, this has just been a bad weather year between the snowpocalypse, between the inundation of rain in May and June, and then basically zero after that. We got rain yesterday though but it doesn't really help us because it's, it's cold. <laughs> and I know a lot of you are probably wondering how's Chocolate Chip doing from the last video. Uh, he's doing fine. He's, uh, he's out there. He's right, right over there. He moved with the herd. He was one of the last ones through because he just didn't want to move. None of them wanted to move today. So moving a little bit slow. He's not feeling 100%, I can tell. But he's definitely on the upswing. The, um, the runs have stopped on him. So that's, that's looking good. He's not looking as skinny either. He actually looks like he put on a couple pounds. So. Uh, not all the way out of the woods yet, but we're getting there. All right, now here's a little project that I've been working on, or that I want to work on right now, for the ducks and geese. And that is, I'm going to create a little, like, automatic water for them. If I can get, there we go. That drill bit out. And this drill bit in. Or, not an automatic water, but an automatic feeder. Let's see, come on. What the heck? Almost there, come on. There we go. Take this thing off. Good enough, whatever. This is gonna cover it. So, I've seen this done before. Looks like it's a pretty cool deal. So, ooh, can't do that yet. Okay, now we can be smart about it. That's how you do it. See?
I just have to use my noodle a little bit, right? There we go. Okay. Step one. Almost finished. Now let's uh, go wash this out. And now we can do this. Okay, there's one. years later all right well that was a lot harder than it was supposed to be how to put one of these under here it's not perfectly straight it's not perfectly centered I don't think the ducks are really gonna care they're just gonna be happy that they got a whole bunch of food now so it works should work let's go try let's go try it out all right now let's see if this should work if it does work okay let's see take the old broken bucket Oh, okay. Pick it up. Yep, it's working. And now we can fill it up the rest of the way. And that smooth it out. here in the next couple days and now we can check it out that should should be enough look see it comes out just when I even pick it up huh pretty cool automatic uh, duck feeder holds like 25 pounds of feed okay you guys happy now you guys ready for your new uh, your new deal here look, can we figure it out you guys figure it out look come on guys I see it. He sees it. Okay. Okay, I'll back off. I'll back off. Now go. Okay, he sees it. Now they're all going to see it. Ready? Wait, oh, this is new. Okay. Does that work for you guys? I think it does. Now I don't have to come uh, bring feed down every day. Now you guys have a lot. Cool. Good deal. Okay, can we not break the eggs? We'll go pick those up right now. Sit. 
One, two, three, and four. It looks like we got four today. Cool. See, that works pretty good. And I'm wondering if two or three of those would work for meat chickens. That could be pretty cool. If it's small enough to go into the chicken tractor, if it's short enough, I mean, that could work out really well. Because then you're not hauling so much feed, or you can hold, you can haul more feed at one time. You know, put, you probably need three, three of those in a chicken tractor. I don't know. Maybe the other was easier. But this, uh, this right now seemed to work. They're going to town. Yeah, I didn't know you guys are hungry. Sorry, I made you wait, but I give you more. See, now you don't run out. Now you guys never run out of feed. What I could also do for that thing too is make like a little bit of a roof to where it has a pitch to where the water um, when it rains kind of runs off. That could work out pretty well. All right, well, it looks like they're gonna probably have to get their second move a little bit sooner than I thought they were. Because we're over here down in what I call snake land. And uh, huh, we'll let them go a little bit longer. There's some grass over here. Come, baby. A little bit longer. Hey, pets. No pets. Hi, baby. Hi. Good girl. You eat this grass, okay? Up on the hill, there's not too much, but we'll see. Let's walk around here. I don't think I've ever taken you guys back here. I don't really go back here too much because a little bit creepy. Um, this winter, now um, that the snakes are should be hibernating, um, we're really close to it. We're gonna try and clean this up because it's not bad. You know, it's not bad. We just need to clean up the pond a little bit. We need to clean up some of these trees. Um, pond's way down from the drought that we've been in. Look, you can see where the water line usually is. And they don't really drink out of here. I mean, they drink out of here uh, once a month, once every, once every other month. But yeah, you can see how much the water is down. See back here, it's a tiny little pasture too. So where they need to come find, you can see they found it already. There's a cow poop, and the llamas have found it. But there's some decent grass back here that they can eat on for, you know, a couple more hours. Hi, buddy. What's up, dude? So this is behind what I call Snake Land, our second pond. And here should be the spillway. Looks better back here. Um, that's all like that because. The pigs got to it, I know for sure, last year. I'm gonna be careful about where I step. And yeah, it just makes me a little bit uneasy. I really don't like snakes. But the cows have been here and everything, so they should have uh, wandered off if they're not already hibernating. This could look really nice if it's um, cleaned up and productive for the cows. Okay, yep, see what I'm talking about about pigs? These monsters come over here and root everything up. Try and see where they come from. Probably come from down over there. Where the, the gates probably, or the fence is a little bit higher. But man, they really root up. Yeah, see? That's exactly where they come from. I might try and put a couple more strands of uh, wire in there, or some electric. Looks like I have some fence to fix here. And there's the road that you guys hear all the time in the videos. And I wish this creek was just a little bit over because that would have been a nice little redundancy to have. But it's okay. What's up, bud? You're pretty good. You're a good looking little steer, aren't you? That's a little anymore. You're probably about 800 pounds. You're, uh, you'll be ready for a uh, freezer camp next year, huh, buddy? Probably. We'll see. I might get some scales out here and uh, make sure we weigh them. We want to get our steers to at least, well, I like to say a thousand pounds, but uh, with longhorns, you got to take into account their horns, and they can weigh up to like 40, 50 pounds or something like that, so we're, we're looking at more 1100, the 1100 range, because, you know, got to make up for, you know, those things back there, big old horns. I might cut it right here, I might bring you guys along for the second cow move, depending on how much, uh, what time it is and how much I have to get done. But uh, if, if this is it, hit that subscribe button down below, ring the notification bell so you get notified when we put up new videos, hit the like button because it really does help boost with the YouTube algorithm. See, the more likes and even dislikes, 
that uh, we get, the more that YouTube says, oh, this, this video gets interaction and boosts us up. So hit that like button because it does help us out. With that, see ya. Cows, come on! Come on, cow 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 cows, come on! Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Come on. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Come on. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Come on. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Come on. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows, come on. Come on, cows. Come on, buddy. You gotta go. Come on, cow cows, come on. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows, come on. Come on, cows. Come on, cows. Come on, cows.